everybody. Welcome back to another episode of the Melanin Money Show, right? You already know it's your boy, George A. We got Carter Cofield and we got Jacqueline Shattuck. How y'all doing today? Mm, put some respect in our names. That's yeah, Cartier that? Carter over there. Cartier yeah, Carter. Told you, we, we, we rocking with that. I'm working on an endorsement right, right now, bro. Cartier, <laughs> you, we got to put the Cartiers on. You know what I'm saying? Can't call you Cartier Cartier. You got the Cartiers on. Ooh. That's right. That's but right. now, Cartier Carter, Jackpot Jacqueline, and Forbes George. You already know the vibes. How y'all doing, man? How y'all living, man? How's everybody? You know I'm Jacqueline Plans. Jacqueline Plans. Yeah. Well, Jacqueline, you got your IG back, right? So you should be ecstatic. I do have my IG back. Yeah, shout out, shout out Jacqueline. She finally got her IG back. Yeah, go ahead. If y'all don't follow her yet, go ahead and shoot her a follow. You know what I'm saying? Uh, yeah, I got to shout out TJ for helping me get my page back. Hey, TJ, hey. From, TJ from Miami? Yep. Oh, see, we put you on the phone. Hey, 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 look, hey, hey, get, get in the room, right? Get in the room. Get in the room. <laughs> <laughs> y'all almost got me canceled out of the room. Cause he was no. like, I was worried that one of them was your dude, and I didn't want to be talking <laughs> yeah, to you too just, much. Just, just to fill y'all in on the uh, the story, so we were in Miami for a mastermind, and uh, Jacqueline was heated because her Instagram page was down for like three weeks, almost a month. And then George had some friends in Miami. We we met up with them, and it turns out that one of George's friends works for Twitter. And I don't know if he was shooting the shot at Jacqueline or, or not, but what happens is that he was actually able to help her, help her get her page back, right? So being in the room, guys, is so powerful. Being in the right rooms, having good friends to get you in the right rooms, you know? Like, yeah, there's, there's some things that money can't buy, right? Like, you know, there's some things that money can't buy, relationships. But anyways. Just put all this so, man's information out there, by the way. Is his name at all? No it privacy. Like, it was, okay. you know, it was inconspicuous. Ooh, 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 shout, ooh. Out, shout out T, shout out T, you know what I'm saying? T from Twitter, what does it say T? <laughs> um, but now y'all so uh hope everybody's doing well. Um, so you know, this episode, man, we talked about it a little bit on our last episode, but like uh, yeah, it's here now. Like by the time you're hearing this, like you got like 48, you know what Jay said, you got less than 48 hours to get your thing together. Like it's time, right? Black wealth Friday. Okay. So let's who go. better, you know what I'm saying? Let's go. Who better to put on Black Wealth Friday than melanin money, right? Like you know, when like this brand first got started, people like, I had people in my friend circle, they were just like, it's a dope concept, George, but like, and you really want to exclude like everybody else. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I was like, it's not about excluding, it's about super serving. Right? Mm. It's not about excluding, it's about super serving. And so what better, what better brand, what better platform, what better community to put on Black Wealth Friday than Melanin Money? So for those of y'all who don't know what Black Wealth Friday is, Black Wealth Friday is turning the largest consumer spending day of the year into the largest wealth creation day of the year, right? We're flipping it on its head, right? So instead of y'all just going out and buying a bunch of BS you don't need, we say carve a little bit of that budget out to invest collectively as a community and shift the culture, man. That's crazy. Like, we're really doing some revolutionary stuff, y'all. Yeah, man. Like the thing is, I think what's the stat? Nine billion dollars is spent on Black Friday shopping alone. Nine yeah. billion. So again, we're not saying don't spend any money on Black Friday. If you've been saving for a new computer or whatever, go get your stuff. We just say allocate a small portion of the money you are planning to spend and add that money to an investment account and start investing. It will t- tell you always how to do it. But that's the that's the point, right? Because it shifts, it's more than just the money, it shifts a mindset, right? If you allocate a small portion of your money to invest during Black Friday, you might do it again, right? You might get in the habit of investing a small portion of your money every week, every month, and it can really change the trajectory of um, our culture and cl- help close that wealth gap. Absolutely. Absolutely. We got we to gotta work to close that wealth gap. But also, if you are hearing this before Black Friday, I got a couple things for you. One, when you buy things, Black Friday shopping, there's certain things that you're not saving any money on. Mm. Like, for, for instance, and these are like studies that have been done, right? They show that when you actually buy like retail, like clothing, shoes, those kinds of things, you're not really saving enough money for it to make sense, right? For you to go through that whole rush of shopping. Where you are saving money is like electronics, technology, you know, large, uh, durable goods. Like, you know, if you need a new washer, dryer, refrigerator, hey, we're adulting. Shout out to everybody who's adulting. Um, <laughs> yeah, like a, like a cash tag, like, what you got it for is George. Nothing. Oh, you're right, bro. You hear that? Oh, my bad. We can't. <laughs> there we go. There we go. There we go. <laughs> Shout out to everybody who's adulting. So 
yeah, just be mindful. Even if you are Black Friday shopping for things that you really need, those are things that you can really get a discount on. The other thing is, if you want to get those items and you're like, oh, well, I'm worried that they're going to sell out before Black Friday, stores such as Costco, Best Buy, they have these policies where if you buy that item and the value drops, you can just submit a form online for them to return you that value. So say I bought a laptop, um, you can go buy it now, really, because it's usually within like 30 days. So I can go to Costco, buy a laptop, $1,500. It goes on sale for Black Friday and it's $800. They're going to refund me that difference by submitting their online form. Wow. And you can beat that crowd, too. You beat the crowd. You don't have to deal with that. You can spend time with your family or relaxing or you can join us on Instagram live because we're going to be talking about this. Yeah, but yeah absolutely. There's a couple tips for Black Friday. Right. But let's talk about how we are going to help build wealth and how we can help you guys uh, break down what you should be investing in. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. So let's we'll go through the, the W's. Right. So we know what's happening right next week. Right. Well, this week. Sorry. As of this reporting, we know what's happening. Black Wealth Friday happening on 11 26 21 now that same week though in advance because we don't want people to say well i want to be a part of black wall friday but i don't know what to invest in how am i gonna know what to invest is my money gonna be mixed with everybody else's money like what does this mean <laughs> so let's 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 be clear right now here's the thing we wanted to make sure that it was about y'all and we made it as simple as possible right so number one you can use any investment institution of your choosing so if you already have an account with Robinhood, Charles Schwab, TD Ameritrade, Webull, whoever, right? Whoever you currently, if you currently have one, you can use them, right? If you do not currently have one, when you complete your form and you would like us to assist, you just simply select that option and we will help you with that, right? Now, the next question is going to be, well, okay, that's great. I know what type of, or what institutions I can use, but what investments count towards Black Wealth Friday? Is there a limit? Does it have to be individual stocks? Is it ETFs? Like, what is it? You might want to know, like, well, what are my choices, right? The sky's the limit, <laughs> right? The sky's the limit. Whether you want to buy a share of Apple, Google, Amazon, if you want to buy ETF, VOO, like whatever you want to buy, you can buy, right? Now, if you're unsure of what to buy and you need some guidance or assistance, I'm doing it in real time. Jacqueline is going to give you a short list of options to research, right, to consider. Now, the reason why we're saying that is because she might share options. We might all share options that we currently own, that we stand behind. I think we should do that. Let's, let's, let's all give our options. On what people yeah. Again, guys, but we have to give this disclaimer. This is not investment advice. We are not your investment advisor. We're just giving general investment information based off what we are investing in and but based on what we advertise or you know assist our clients with so um how about we all give like three investment options if we start with Jacqueline and because she's the financial planner and then George is the actual investment expert I'll go last and I'll just steal all their options but go ahead <laughs> <laughs> oh um, so go ahead Jacqueline well I was gonna say one of the first things that I want to say is after almost eight years of being a financial advisor and really making a shift in the last couple of years, like my goal is really to help more people, right? Is mm -hmm. to help more people understand how money works and how it can really make your life better, right? That's why I wrote the book. That's why I have on the podcast. That's why we have Shots the community, the all the things, okay? So I'm at a point in my career where the financial advisory world says invest X kind of way. And the rest of the world says do this, right? Mm -hmm. So I've fallen into this position of where I'm like, okay, I can see what the advisory world is saying, but I see what the rest of the world is offering as well. And so how can we mesh the two together to make it make the most sense? Mm -hmm. um, so with that being said, three investments. Yeah, yeah three. We'll give them three. And, and, and um, the Melanin Millionaires Club will give even more. So um, you know, if, you're, if you're part of the Melanin Millionaires Club, you listen to this podcast, we'll, we'll drop a laundry list of options. If you're not, grab these and you know, these should be good options as well. Okay. So we are going to interrupt for a commercial break. <laughs> uh, no, I want to read a review to you guys really quickly from the podcast. Um, if Buckeye Patriot 82 is listening, roll call. Uh, we have a giveaway for you. So make sure that you send an email to podcast at melaninmoney.com. 
Uh, we got something special for you. And hey. says, yep, drop a little. We can. Congratulations, yeah. man. What's his name? We didn't hear it. Yeah. We didn't get his name. We didn't. What's his name? The drop. You didn't hear what drop? Did you press the doing cash tag? Oh no, nah, I did the a round of applause. Ain't a round of applause? No. Nah. We can't hear anything. That's we gotta right. we gotta Next work time. on the roadcaster. Y'all, that was really expensive for it to, to not work. <laughs> you, hear you, hear you hear it? I heard a ding a little bit. Nah, I don't know. Okay. Barely, but um, maybe we're gonna work on that. Yeah. yeah. So, so the- Buckeye Patriot eighty two says great content. Putting our money into turnkey rental properties to beat inflation, all while making that cash flow. Hey, that's a sexy review. That's a sexy review. I Putting like our that. money into turnkey rental properties to beat inflation. Did yeah. y'all catch our, our episode on inflation? Did they catch our episode on inflation? Oh, I know why y'all didn't hear it because my mic wasn't hooked up. There we so go. Was- That's better. I hear it now. Now we hear Now we hear Oh, oh now it's lit. <laughs> okay. Um, a little technical so, difficulties. See, this is why I look. This is why we got. We do got to get like an official studio at some point because we need somebody else doing all this stuff. So we can. Just, <laughs> the you know, problem we, is, it's a good problem to have. You're expecting a child, so you yeah. are going to be very tied down to Charlotte. And Carter and I are very not tied down to Charlotte. That means I should come. So, to, see what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah, in Charlotte. Right? Yeah. So, and I got the I got the mics. You know what I'm saying? I got the situation. Come come fuck with me. Okay. Anyways. So we're we gonna work on that, but okay. So I was saying the inflation episode. If you guys didn't catch that episode, go back and listen to it. But also, you know, we're hitting record highs right now as a result. As we're talking about inflation, Carter is out there in California. Carter, how are the gas prices in California? I want to talk about it. Talk about <laughs> it. And I just got, I just got a V eight. I don't want to talk about it. Yeah, yeah, it. yeah. <laughs> you're you, you're wilding. California hit record high gas prices like since 2012. So. It's expensive out here. So if you're not working on beating inflation, uh, it's going to be a struggle for you. It's about to get ugly. Um, like and, and they said beating inflation all while making that cash flow. I mean, who who doesn't love cash flow? I mean, love I love flow. making money while I'm not around. So why don't you give these people three investment options so they can have cash flow? Boom. Right into it. Right into it. What's up? I, 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 are you stalling? Come on. Oh, get, get. <laughs> No, I'm not. I'm adding value here. Okay. okay. I'm okay. making sure that people understand that this is realistic, you know? It is. It is. It is. Okay. So giving you three uh three options. I do like real estate. Okay. That's an option. Okay. So we are talking about short-term rentals, December 16th in the community. So if you're there, um, please join us for that. Short-term rentals. If you want to talk about real estate, how you can have Airbnbs, VBROs, short-term rentals without owning the property. Mm. Yeah. Speaking of, you know, not I hate to keep beating a dead horse, but that might be the theme of our platform being in the room, right? Because Melanie Millionaire's Club is a virtual room. Mm -hmm. The person who's doing the class is someone that we all met at FinCon. Oh, right, right, right. right, right. Came to your talk, and then me and Jacqueline talked to him afterwards. And he's also the same gentleman whose wife um, is over the Airbnb or short term rental um, like management business. Who's gonna help with the Airbnb game? So, like, listen, guys, you just gotta get in the room. As a matter of fact, we need like a, we need to do a, a in a the room drop. Yeah, get in the room. You know, <laughs> get your ass in the room. <laughs> I'm not gonna talk about the room I was in last night. We we gonna let that one play out. But so just um, okay. No, go ahead. Okay. We've done the, fine, y'all fine. have done some of those to me before with like these cliffhangers. I'm like, wait, tell me. You're like, no, well, no, it's not a tell me. It's just like. I, I, you know, I don't know what room you was in last night, but I know when my head goes, we say room you was in last night. So I don't, you know, I think the fans, but, but go ahead. You're good. You're People good. definitely want to know, but hey, it's yeah, cool. It, sound, it sounds kind of sketchy. Like what room were you in last night? Like, uh, yeah. that's why I was like, uh, okay. You walk, you, go ahead. You, walk, you walk into jokes, but go ahead. So I so, mean, it gets dark at six o'clock. So what? Look, no judgment here. Okay. This, this is a family friendly <laughs> pocket. No judgment here. This is a, we all The friends. meeting was at six. It was nighttime. Okay. Okay. Uh, so Airbnb. <laughs> I'm done with y'all. I'm done with y'all. Yeah. So no. So real estate in general. I'm gonna give like overarching, and then I want y'all to dive in a little bit more. But yeah. So real estate. Um, I definitely want people to take advantage of long-term fundamental investing. Okay. So ETFs are just a really easy way to do that. They're a really easy tool 
So I want people to take advantage of those. Um, and a third one, I feel like I'm going to take all the investments from you guys. No, no worry. You got plenty. Okay. Reminder, I'm not your financial advisor unless we have a contract. Okay. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to tell y'all to look at crypto. Like we can't, you can't ignore it. And I say you can't ignore it because a lot of the financial advisory world just wants to keep ignoring it and acting like, oh, it's not a real asset class. It's not a real investment. Da, 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 because da. They, they can't get paid off of it yet. So they're not going to push right. anything exactly. that they can get paid off of. But the crypto is that's, a very, very valid investment. That's part of it. And it's because it's so volatile. It's hard to recommend that for people because they can't handle the volatility. But yeah, so Absolutely. I'm going to go with real estate, ETFs, and crypto. Right. Okay, I, I, can go, I can go. I can think of next. Actually, okay. I'll give some more specific examples um, of just where I'm at personally. So I don't know if you all heard, but Staples Center, as of December 25th, you took what? Oh, yes, I did. I, I, I Crypto.com. I'm not letting George go to next. Is he gonna take him? Mm-hmm. So as of December 26th, uh, Staples Center will be named Crypto.com Center. Yep. Or Crypto.com. Yeah. Crypto.com. So like, I'm off the bandwagon when it comes to crypto like i am so I, i'm so i believe in it so much because i understand what it's going to do so here's where i'm at i am well, well, let's pause there what is it going to do right no no leave don't leave them okay leave them what is it going to okay, do so, so crypto is going to basically for those of you i don't know decentralize the financial environment right we're going to be able to uh buy things exchange things send money in a way where we cut out the middleman with the broker fees and things like that with smart contracts meaning that i don't have to trust you to do business with you like if mm-hmm. me and george wants to go in on an investment property together. I don't have to worry about he a good dude or is he going is he shysty? I can we can enter a smart contract and give give our uh, respective crypto for the investment and then buy the property. So again, crypto is, is going to allow us to invest our money and grow in ways without having to have a broker charge us a whole bunch of fees to do so. Mm. Is that a fair explanation? Well, that's that's fair, right? Okay. That's fair. So, so Absolutely. I'm, I'm, Shout out like, next month. I think, like, Twelve days of crypto. Shout out Jacqueline for um, for organizing that. So if you want more about that, we'll have a lot of gems for you next yeah. month in the club. We got twelve days of crypto. So not only is crypto.com taking over the Staples Center, but have y'all seen Coinbase? If you've sat if you sat courtside, have you been to a game? Like you'll see, like Coinbase is also taking over too with their advertising. So like they're on all of the goals and stuff at all the games. Yeah. It's real out here. For sure, for sure. So I'm gonna give you all three, right? So my one, I'll just be specific. So I'm big on uh, Ethereum and Bitcoin. So if you all want to invest in crypto and you want to invest like quote unquote safely, th- these are the most two like, you know, stabilized coins where they won't go up and down, right? As much mm-hmm. as the rest of them, where they're still volatile, but not as volatile. And I just really believe in them. So um, Bitcoin is like the, the main dominant one. Ethereum is like the gasoline of uh, crypto. So, you know, they're going to need that. So I'm big on those two. I'm also big on companies who are big on crypto, right? So or big on crypto or like um, virtual reality. So I'm a huge fan of Microsoft because Microsoft is investing a lot of money in VR and things of that nature. So I either want to invest in crypto or invest in companies that are investing in crypto. So, um, so Microsoft is another uh, big one for me. And number three, I would just have to say, um, I would say Apple because Tim Cook announced that he's a huge crypto investor as well. So I know Apple's going to make a, play, a huge play in the crypto space. It's not a matter of if, it's a matter of when. And I'm a huge Apple uh, just you know user as well. So I'm investing in not only things I believe in, I'm investing in things that I use. So uh, uh, cryptocurrency, specifically Ethereum, Bitcoin, uh, uh, Microsoft, who's investing heavily in um in the virtual space and then apple who their owner is a, is, a, is a crypto fan as well so those are my those are my big three for investing in black wolf friday great 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 man those are great ones um apple was always a staple so you took my took my thunder there too um man let me let me say something real quick i believe it you king <laughs> if what carter just said is over your head i need you to do a little bit more studying and a little bit more research because you're going to get left behind because I think Mm -hmm. it's definitely getting more complicated out here like it's not getting simpler it's getting more complicated so if you didn't understand the stock market already now you're going to try to understand crypto 
I just need you to do a little bit more research. Yeah. Yeah. And, and, and guys to, to expound upon that real quick before I get my three, you know, you, you might used to joke on your, your, your mom or your grandparents because they didn't really understand something and you had to help them with it because you were hip and you knew what was going on. The same thing's about to happen to you if you don't pay attention, right? You, you think you can ignore this stuff. You think like the, they were in the same position. Your parents, they're not dumb. Technology just was moving at a slower pace back then, right? So they thought they could ignore it. So if you don't get immersed in this stuff, if you don't learn, if you don't get in the room and find opportunities to ask questions to the right people, i.e. Melanie Millionaires Club, Pocket Advisor, shout out Pocket Advisor. Um, if you don't get an opportunity to get in the right space or just learn yourself, whether this podcast is free. So like wherever you get your gems from, just make sure you don't get left behind. I'm glad that she said that because it is getting, it's meta. I mean, people haven't even figured out how to have a healthy balance with social media, looking at the internet. What is it going to, what's going to happen when now you can experience it? You haven't even figured out you're, you're using it. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's crazy. So I think I said this in the last podcast, but like 70, the seatbelt came out 75 years after the car was made, right? Because that's a form of technology. All technology is, is an enhancement and an extension of how you do things, right? They invented the glass or the camera, right? Because you can't, now you can save the images. They invented a fork so you don't have to eat food with your hands, right? And so now as technology continues to evolve, right, it's going to get to a point where the line between replacing and complementing get really, really blurry, mm -hmm. right? And if you don't, if you don't pay attention to what's happening, you're going to get left behind. And we don't want y'all to get left behind. Y'all want them to get left behind? I, I want to experience the top with my people. So like, again, we, you know, we, especially black people, we already behind. So we can literally cannot afford to take a back seat for any, you know, any amount of time longer. So right. I am with you on that. And let's bless the people with some more um, uh, yeah. tips. Before we go on a well, like the, yeah. well, the thing about technology is every time a new technology comes out, people want to downplay it. So <laughs> even when, yeah. like, you're talking about the seatbelt, even when the car was made, people were on horses and they were like, yeah, nobody's going to own a car. Why would they want that? Yeah. People don't like change and people fear what they don't understand. Period. That's, that's the nest. That's, that's that on that. All right, so to give you a few more options on what you can invest in on Black Wealth Friday, or in, but again, do your own due diligence because you know we have no way of knowing the entry points and all that good stuff, but we are giving you investments that we believe that are gonna be viable for the long-term. Quick stat, right? If you were to invest, measure your investments day-to-day, -day, trade day-to-day, -day, you have a 50% chance of having a positive return. If you were to measure your investments from year to year, you have an 87% chance, excuse me, over the decade, you have an 87% chance of success. If you measure your investments over a 20 year period, so far you would have a 100% success rate in the market, right? Now we're not saying if you if this applies to every individual stock, but we're saying the market, i.e. the S&P 500, right? These indexes, if you were to invest, right? In an index fund and you held it for 20 years, so far based upon the entire history of the stock market, you would have a 100% success rate. Nice. Right. So just keep that in mind. Right. When you buy quality investments in the stock market, the name of the game is compounding in time. OK. All right. Now, let me give you my three. All right. Number one, Square. OK. And when you look at Square, you might look at it right now. You might be like, mm, I don't know. Like, I don't really know if it's going to do do numbers. But you got to understand and look behind the curtains of what Square is doing. Right. Square is positioning themselves as the new J.P. Morgan of our generation. OK, so I love Square. I love Simon Property Group, SPG, right? The reason why I love SPG, excuse me, that's in my ear. The reason why I love SPG is because whenever I go to the mall, it feels good knowing I own a piece of it. Hey, that's huge. That's huge. You know what I'm saying? That's like, huge. I own a piece of this, right? And they pay a really decent dividend. Um, and they were beat up. I mean, I remember I was telling people I was buying uh, SPG like in a pandemic, like, no, malls are closing forever, blah, blah, blah. SPG has done me well. Right. So SPG, I love SPG and Shopify shop. I love shop. The reason being is because e-commerce small business is only going to continue to expand. Right. And Shopify is the premier user friendly e-commerce platform. I use it. I love it. Um, I can speak to its power. So shop is another one that I absolutely love. So check out those three, do your own due diligence. Um, but I think those are three good ones that you can check out. 
Yeah, and like the thing about these guys is these are all companies that have the future in mind, right? So like with shop, like like you said, e-commerce is gonna just continue to grow as people like I don't go shop. I can't remember the last time I actually went shopping physically. You know what I'm saying? I get everything shipped to me. I buy things online, and with Shopify, you can buy, you can build your store on top of the platform, right? Same thing mm -hmm. with Square. You know, you don't have to do physical transactions. So I'm just I'm big on I'm big on investments that that look towards the future because again, we the future is coming faster than we ever could have imagined. So. Right. Those are some investing options, guys. We really hope you take those again, do your own research, but just invest in something, right? Invest in something, something, because when you don't invest, as Jacqueline mentioned in our last episode on inflation, you, you have a hundred percent chance of losing money, right? 100%. You have a hundred percent chance of losing money if you don't invest. And that's why, like, again, we're, we're pushing Black Wealth Friday. We are tired of the Black stereotype of like, you know, we don't trust the, the man or the market with our money. No, you need to you need to trust them more than <laughs> trust down to your mattress because you have 100% chance of losing your money. So that's the point, y'all. That's what you're trying to drive home. Yeah, facts. All right, so we covered the what. We know what Black Wealth Friday is about. We know when it's happening, 11, 26, 21. Um, you, you have all the way up until Cyber Monday to uh, upload your confirmations, which I'll talk about. So how do you get counted in the numbers? Right, because obviously, if you you don't have to invest in with an account that we set up on your behalf, you can invest in any account that you already have. Um, and so you want to you might want to know how do I get counted in the numbers for Black Wall Friday? So the way that you get counted is that we are going to send out a very simple link. You put your name, your email, and you upload a screenshot of the confirmation of your investment. And, and ideally, we want to know how much you invested. No, it doesn't matter whether it's. $10, $20, $100, $1,000, $10,000. $1, $10, we want to know because we're going to collectively total up the entire number to see how much as a culture, as a community that we were able to invest, right? So all you have to do is upload that. You'll get that form probably Wednesday. So probably like the 23rd, 24th, just to have it, right? Because I know some people before the holidays, they might want to go ahead and get their investments out of the way. Now, you do not have to invest exclusively on Friday, right? And in perfect world, you do because it just feels really good, right? Look, I made, I made it happen on Blackwell Friday. So you don't have to do it exclusively on Blackwell Friday. But as long as you get it done that week, it will count towards your contribution. And heck, even if you did it Monday, if the markets are open on Monday, which they should be, you can, you can do it on Monday, right? As long as we get your confirmation by Monday, it all counts, right? Mm. So anytime during that week, um, but, up until Monday. Guess what? We're talking about technology, new age. Success love speed, y'all. We ain't trying to invest on Friday. Okay. Success love speed. No, 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 no. Uh, okay. Success love speed. So as you're listening to this, go ahead and set up the transfer online. Right. Because you can do that now. You can automate it to have it done on Friday. Exactly. Screenshot yeah. the transfer, fill out the form, boom, you're done. It's not even you're, Friday. You're done. It's a wrap, right? And again, make sure you go to blackwellfriday.com or melaninmoney.com forward slash blackwellfriday and make sure that you enter your name and email and your pledge because that is how you're going to receive the form. You have to be on our email list, right? On our text list to be notified. So if you haven't done it already, it'll be in the show notes, but melaninmoney.com forward slash blackwellfriday or simply go to blackwellfriday.com. All right. So now let's talk about the broader mission of just like, you know, closing the wealth gap. Right. And why is that important? Now, you know, this targeted initiative, you're going to see this initiative for years to come. It's going to be amazing to see how it evolves and grows and transforms. Y'all going to be remember, I remember when I, I was I was with Black Wealth Friday when it first started. Now they they're doing a Billy every single Friday, Friday, you know what I'm saying? Every single Blackwell Friday. Hold on for a second. Carter, what did you, what's happening? Did you like, you like blur on the background? I blur on my background. In Zoom? Yeah. Do you have your camera hooked up to this or something? No, it's just my computer camera. Cause again, I, I wanted to get the sun and I have uh, like my book bag and stuff on my, on my couch. So I, I don't even, how do you, how do you do that? Yeah, so so you can do a lot of things in Zoom, such as yeah, check out the YouTube channel if y'all want to see this. Check out the YouTube. Up, your boy is flourishing right now. Touch up your appearance on Zoom. That's possible. Blur your background. Put a fake background. Yeah, I didn't. I didn't know you could do the black. We'll, we'll talk about that offline. But anyways, um, so yeah, in general, right? Like, how do we close the wealth gap? Right? How do we close the wealth gap? You know, so. When we think about the wealth gap in general, Jacqueline, from your understanding, from your perspective, 
for those who just because they might just hear arbitrarily hear the term the wealth gap like what is this what does it mean so in your own words how would you define what is the wealth gap without getting too emotional it's just the, <laughs> it's just the difference between honestly and i don't want to make it a, a this for that because it's not black versus white but it's the reality of the situation it's the gap between what white america has and what Black America has in terms of actual wealth, in terms of net worth, in terms of ownership, right? Mm -hmm. It's that difference, okay? We won't talk about why that difference is there, but let's talk about how we can fill that gap and get it closer, right? Because mm -hmm. we know that more money, more wealth brings more opportunities. Love it, love it, love it, absolutely. As a matter of fact, guys, call me on this. This this year, instead of doing black, and this is no knock to our, our the legends and the legacy and, and the, those who paved the way for us, but my challenge with Black History Month is sometimes like it over indexes on the struggle, right? Mm -hmm. Like we, we without a solution, we, without a solution, right? Exactly. Like we don't we we know we know what we've been through, right? And we don't want to ignore it. We don't want like we know that, but like I want us to do Black Future Month, right? Like let's talk, I know that the name is don't worry about the name, but like like let's highlight people who are who are making strides to, to solve the problem, right? We want to obviously always honor our ancestors and those who did it before us, but like, let's highlight people who are making strides and focus on where we're going, right? We know where we've been and it's always okay to glance back, but let's focus on people who are helping us get to where we're going. I think that's something we should, we and, should see here. One of my favorite quotes is the only time I look back and see how far I came, right? I don't want to dwell on the past without finding a solution. So I love that. And I think, it starts with information, right? Just education mm -hmm. and information. So what I'm going to do, um, I just had this idea a couple a couple of days ago. So for, for my family on Thanksgiving, so this will be the next day after this podcast releases, I'm going to host a wealth hour on Black Wealth Friday. All my family will sit down. We're going to have a wealth conversation because I can't be out here giving information out to the masses if my people are not taken care of, right? So um, either Thursday or Friday, um, while we're together on Thanksgiving, I'm going to host a one hour session about just like, yo, know, investing wealth, why it's a must. And then what we're going to do about it as a family to set ourselves up for the future. So I yeah, I think it starts with information. That's all. Yeah, it starts with information and it has to end with execution. Yeah. Right. Like y'all can, y'all can binge all these episodes. Y'all can jump into the Melanin Millionaires Club, watch all the past recordings. Y'all can buy the courses. Y'all can do all that stuff. But if you don't execute, it's useless. Right. So find take find a habit of whenever you want to learn something new, like don't move on until you've done something that you learned from the first thing. Like some people are like, like they just love to be intellectual for the sake of intellectualism. Like, oh, I read a, a book a week. But what did you what, what did you implement from the book you read three weeks ago? Right. So like don't buy another course, don't buy another book. Don't listen to another podcast until you go to that save section on Instagram and you go in them screenshots in your, in your camera roll and you implement one of those things that you said you was going to do. You screenshot and everything. Ain't did nothing. Saving yeah. everything on Instagram. Oh, that looks cool. I'm going to do that one day. Ain't did nothing. Yeah. If you're right now, execute. Because we don't got time to waste. Like you literally, information can literally change your entire life. There's if nobody on the internet right about now. Like, you know. about it, right you see people win like you see so many people winning right like and they when they wake up news flash they the way they put their pants on it's the same way the way they brush their teeth it's with one hand would you would, what like these are regular ordinary people who are making consistent ordinary actions and the reason why i'm harping on this right now because like y'all can invest in black Wall friday and we appreciate y'all for that this ain't about us it's for y'all but like y'all gotta show up consistently it's people out here winning in a major way and you could be in the numbers if you execute that's how you close the wealth gap execution that's how you close the wealth gap right but on a technical and tactical level you got to plant seeds for a tree whose shade you'll never sit under right so one thing you absolutely have to do is guarantee your legacy, right? Generational wealth, even if you don't build it, you can buy it. You know, you can buy it, life insurance, right? Let's let's say you 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 mess up your entire life. You don't you don't build no businesses. You don't whatever, right? Get a get a will, get a trust, and get life insurance. Dang. 
I'm, listen, you gotta keep it. You gotta hit on all cylinders. You gotta hit on all cylinders. You gotta make sure because I, I don't want to hear the excuse. It's too late for me. I don't know how to do it. Like, no, we're giving you all all different action items for where you are in life. And again, this is important to us, and we just want it to be important to you. Yeah, it's going to be important to y'all because it ain't no fun. Listen, when we start doing these, you know, billionaire brunches on the yacht, you know, melanin money marina. Listen, y'all going in. You know what I'm saying? Like y'all putting up some money too because y'all gonna have it. <laughs> you know y'all putting up some bread too because y'all gonna have it y'all y'all gonna y'all gonna want to do it. you're like you know man. y'all like like carter for example he he um signed up for a mastermind a while back and he basically was like yo bro <laughs> this your bread you know what yeah. i'm saying like because i took the information free information and executed and i made that back and then some so i say that to say like we hope that this free information we hope that the game that y'all get from the melon millionaires club right y'all apply that so that by the time that we, you know, start doing stuff in public, these, these, you know, live events now, as, as the pandemic officially is over in 2022, we're going to speak into existence, mm-hmm. right? We're going to want y'all to show like, yo, I got this. Cause y'all just don't know. Right. I came up on a bag off of y'all. You know what I'm saying? That's what we want, man. So tap in, tap in. Okay. Well, before we wrap, Jacqueline, anything you want to, you want to add um, guys or anything, anything you want to add? I mean, I, I've said my piece. I'm just excited that we're doing something for the culture on on you know to end the year on, on a good note you know that really yeah, matters. absolutely i mean there's a few things that i want to address i want to make sure that it's made clear to everybody that small investments make a difference mm. yeah, I about that, yeah. yeah. But. small investments make a difference and by small i'm meaning oh, let me give you all the best example that i have okay and this is part of my transition from advisory world to the rest of the world acorns we know acorns right the platform the app all of that Uh, y'all so excited i i I didn't (laughs) love acorns at first right i was like what save the change like come on man i I need y'all putting in you know a hundred dollars two hundred dollars i need y'all investing some real money well everybody can't do that one they don't have the discipline two they don't know they don't have the know-how okay so you can start with acorns is it's very beginner Right. So what does Acorns do for the people that don't know? So with Acorns, they will set it up to your account where anytime you spend money and you have extra change left over from that purchase. So say your purchase is not an even round number. They're going to take that change and they're going to invest it for you. Right. So if I go yeah. get some food and the bill comes to twelve fifty, they're going to round up to thirteen dollars and take that extra 50 cents and invest it into the market for me. OK. Yeah. So small investments over time actually do add up, okay? Mm-hmm. So I want you guys to keep that in mind. Yeah, I love Acorns. I, uh, funny story about Acorns. I, um, I was on an early early adopter just because you know, people always ask you questions and you got to like, you got to be able to talk about it. So mm-hmm. I got Acorns in like 2016, I want to say it was, 2015, 2016. And um, I just, you know, hooked it up to one of my, a couple of my accounts, didn't pay no attention because you don't have to, right? That's the beauty of it. And then I look up, I had like $1,800, $1,900. Now that might not sound like a lot of money, but you got to realize Acorns is taking 50 cents, 75 cents. I think at one point I was like matching it or something or allowance. They had some feature where like- You can add, you can add daily know. investments, you can match, you can do all that. Yeah. yeah, but it was still small in my mind, right? And, 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 and what blew my mind is that if I, I was like, if I still had a piggy bank to this day, there's never, there's never a chance where I have a piggy bank with $1,800 in it. That's, so that's like, true. That's true. I never thought of it like you know that. Saying? So I was like, if I had a piggy bank, there's never a chance I have a piggy bank with $1,800. So I was like, that's this is strong, right? So I like, I, I really love it from a simplicity standpoint. Again, to Jacqueline's point, we've gotten, it's, it, you know, it's hard to, you know, recommend certain things, you know, from the advisory world. But when we think about getting people in the game, it's necessary, like Stash, right? I tested out Stash too, right? Mm-hmm. You know, Fractional is one of the first platforms that allow fractional investments, right? Even before Robinhood. Um, and so Stash is really cool because it's Man. like- man. You know, invest buying a share of Amazon might seem intimidating until you realize you can buy twenty dollars worth. And to that point, real quick on fractional shares, most people are like, "Well, what is that going to do? Why would I buy ten dollars worth of a three thousand dollars stock?" Let me ask you this: If I came to your house with a full pizza and I gave you one slice, is does that is the flavor of that pizza any less good because you only had one slice of the pie? No. Right. You got a fraction of the pizza. And it's the same thing with fractional investing. Yes, of course, you only own a fraction. So you're going to get a fraction right of the of the return in a sense. Right. Um, it, relative if you had a full share, but you still are able to grow right with that company, with that investment. So 
don't get down on yourself if you just have small amounts of money to get started with because it does add up and you will grow over time. But listen, though, you know why fractional shares like got me so excited, got me so passionate? Because when we're, we're talking about closing the wealth gap, OK, so we want to move back in history and talk about when black people couldn't even invest in the stock market. You want to fast forward to now? Mm-hmm. There, there used to be a hurdle where you had to buy a full share. So mm-hmm. if you wanted to buy a $3,000 share and you did not have $3,000, you were asked out. That's a fact. Yeah. But there is no excuses for, for you guys helping us close the wealth gap because you can buy fractional shares. You can invest with your spare change. Right? Yeah. You and, can automate and, and, all of these things. Yeah. You can automate it and interface. Like there was a time where like, trying to figure out how to buy something in a brokerage account was like so antiquated it's like Ooh, even me yeah. as a financial person i was just like this is clunky like what mm-hmm. you know what i mean i'm the financial guy so like mm-hmm. i can only imagine how the general consumer felt but now people said they want to buy robin hood you know all these other apps i'm not saying i'm a huge fan of robin hood but what i am a fan of is you getting in the game and however you decide to get in the game, whatever is more comfortable for you at this at this season, cool. And then as your knowledge increases, as your comfort level increases, and you want to maybe something that's a little more robust, then you can always graduate. And you don't have to sell your shares. You can transfer them, right? If you decide to ever move to a different broker for most of them. And, and, now, go ahead. I was going to so say, I, I was gonna... something like that, you might not be able to transfer, but gotcha. Robin Hood, the other ones you definitely can transfer. And let me just give you some quick numbers for people who think just investing small amounts doesn't add up. So I, I have an investment calculator in front of me. I'm gonna just run through mm-hmm. quick numbers. If you invest hundred dollars a week, which I think most people have extra hundred dollars a week. Absolutely. If invest, yeah, if, if you invest hundred dollars a week for 35 years, you have $2.4 million. If, if you don't get hundred dollars mm-hmm. a week and you wanna do $75 a week, if you invest for 35 years, you have $1.7 million. If you don't get 75, you only get $50 to invest in a week, per week, you still, make $1.1 million over 35 years. So for those mm. of you all that think becoming a millionaire is hard, or for those of you all think that $50 a week is not gonna make a difference, $50 a week for the next 30 plus years will have you at $1.2 million. So small investments matter. Small investments matter. Yeah, and for those of you who think like 30 years is too long, I mean, it's, it's coming for all of us, okay? Right. And, I've, and, been, and yeah. I've been at a lot of retirement parties And there's usually a lot of chatter from people who cannot retire. Mm -hmm. Yeah, There's a lot of hate. Why is she going to retire then? What did she do? I don't Mm. have that. Okay. So the time is coming for all of us. (laughs) It's just, are we going to be prepared for it or not? Yeah, You know what? It makes me think of a real quick story. So like I posted it on LinkedIn the other day Um, in college. This is when I first started getting serious about working out. Uh, And I was in there just ego lifting, you know, young college kid trying to lift the heaviest thing I could pick up because I was scrawny trying to put some pounds on. And there's this guy who was in there. He was an exercise sports science major. He walked up to me because he had probably seen me a few times. At this point, probably just felt sorry for me. He was like, hey, bro, um, how long are you going to be here? I was like, usually about an hour, hour, 15 minutes. He was like, okay. He was like, what you working on? And I was like, oh, a little bit of everything. I ain't had no plan. Like chess, chess for sure. Um, and he was just like, hey, look, man. You're going to be here for an hour and 15 minutes anyway. Like the time, like the time's going to pass. You might as well do it right. Right. You might as well do it right. And he actually showed me some, some techniques and some things to do. So I go to Jacqueline's point, knock on wood. If you believe that you're going to be here next 10, 20, 30, 40 years, right. We, we know none of us has, none of us has a crystal ball, but if that's what we're believing and hoping for, that time's going to pass anyway. So you might as well go ahead and commit no matter how small it is, because you don't want to look up in the future and not have an opportunity to be able to take your foot off the gas and enjoy yourself because you never made the commitment to build wealth. That's a really, the pain of discipline weighs ounces. The pain of regret weighs tons, right? right? And you do not want to look back and like, damn, I wish I would have listened to George Carter and Jacqueline, man. They, they didn't tell me about this stuff, man. And now when I'm tired, I ain't got the energy. My kids are old. They trying to go older. They trying to go to college. Like, and I ain't got it. Yeah. And I ain't never gonna have it. Well, no well it's never too late. <laughs> it's never too late. And here's the thing with technology, we could be living a lot longer. So look, 65, like yo, I plan to still be kicking it. You yeah, know what I'm saying? <laughs> and I ain't gonna be the dude that 50, 60 years old is still talking about putting the grind down, punching the clock. I'm kicking it. Like, you know what I'm saying? I'm enjoying the fruits of my labor and I'm I'm spending time 
and educating my family so that we can keep this thing going. Yeah, because um, everybody on this call, like within their thirties, right before before the clock strikes twelve at forty, are I'm talking about completely financially independent. Right? I mean, like you know, and so we want to help y'all because again, it's gonna seem like a sacrifice right now, but when you when you, it's the middle of the day, and you know I love Tuesday. When it's the middle of a day on Tuesday, you're like, damn, what is, because no telling what social media is going to be like then, like, yeah. well, it's only going to be a couple of years, but yeah. like, what are they doing? Like, why are they not at work? It's like, it's like three o'clock. Why are they chilling? Yeah. Sacrifice. They didn't work now. Yeah. Sacrifice, right? And Jacqueline was the youngest of all of us, right? So she's going to get there faster than everybody. So right. it's like, y'all just listen, this ain't, this ain't about the cars. This ain't about the clothes. This ain't about the cribs. It's about the freedom. And you can get that stuff too if you want it. I'm not saying I'm not, I like nice stuff too. What I'm saying is that's not what this is about. This is about the freedom to do what you want, when you want, with who you want, for however long you want to fucking do it. Right? And that's what it's about freedom, freedom. legacy. Speaking of, speaking of freedom, I'm going, to, I'm going to be spending a month in Brazil in February. So if y'all want to come Ooh, with me and enjoy some freedom. Okay, um, is that, they did that in Brazil? Is that <laughs> that? If y'all want to enjoy some freedom, I'm giving, I'm giving y'all the heads up right now. I can, I can, I can, if it's on the latter half of February, I can probably do a couple of days. I'll be there for mm-hmm. until mid March. So, Look. yeah, I can do a couple of days on the latter half of, of February because, you know, I'm having a whole human being in January. Oh, right, right, right. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Exactly. You're invited too, of course. <laughs> oh, I'm invited this time. I wasn't invited last time. Mm-hmm. Well, last time it was, it was, it was a guy's trip. Okay. I mean, I understand, you know, there's nothing I can do about that. There's no, there's no women there. So, but this is going to be like a fun trip with everybody. So you can come. I'm one of the bros. I know you're one of the bros. I know you're one of the bros, but genetically, it just didn't fit that mold. But we, you know, I love you, and and we'll never have that without you know. We'll never have another Jacqueline. Jacqueline. <laughs> Jacqueline. <laughs> yeah. If it's not a true party, and Jacqueline's not there. All right. Well, Count guys, for hope- Brazil. Brazil. Um, all right, guys. We hope you enjoyed this episode. Again, of course, there's a lot of tactical ways to you know close a wealth gap for sure. Um, but more importantly, guys, we just want you to commit and start where you are do what you can and use what you have, right? We don't want you to focus on and take on the, the responsibility for how to close the entire wealth gap. Close the gap for your family. Let us worry about how to do it for everybody else. We'll worry about that. You, you, you focus on yourself. What can you do? Start small and we'll see you on the other side. Peace.